What's going on, everybody? I'm Sheikah Sweet. And I'm Jeremy Kraft, also known as Mr. Black Book Houston. And we are introducing to you Book Black, Black TV. TV. Book Black TV is where we bring you the hottest entrepreneurs, greatest creatives, businesses, business owners, everything we do on Black Book Houston, just, just visual. visual. So you guys make sure y'all are locked in because we have some hot new stuff we'll be bringing to you and we want to keep you up to date with all the blackness that's going on in Houston. Make sure you're following us on Instagram as well at Black Book Houston. All right, guys. Welcome back, Black Bookers. I'm Mr. Black Book Houston, and I'm here with Sherry of London Couture Virgin Hair. Cool. So we appreciate you coming uh, to take advantage of this platform to talk a little bit about your business today. But before we get started, we're gonna play a quick game. Okay, that that's, cool? that's fine. Okay. Thanks Have you for play having me. Oh, no problem, no problem. Have you played Black Car Revoke before? No. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be real interesting. We go today. We're gonna see if you get it. You get to keep your black card. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna ask you three questions, and if you get two of them right, you get to keep your black card. So they not hard though. They not hard. You should be fine. So the first question is this: If you haven't watched this movie, you need to get your black card revoked. Uh, A. Boys in the Hood. B. The Wiz. C. The Color Purple. Or D. Roots. I would go with the first one, Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood? That's yeah. a good choice. Started thinking, man. Either they don't know, don't show, or don't care about what's going on in the hood. In the hood? That's yeah. a good choice. It's actually one of my favorite movies. Same here. Yeah. Same yeah. here. Yeah, Same okay. Here. Okay, we're on the right page. We're on the right page. All right. Second question, what's something your mama told you to do that she can do herself? A, take the chicken out. B, turn the light out. C, watch your kids. D, go to the store. I would say the TV. The TV? Oh, the light. TV holds the lights, but yeah, yeah, that, that one too though. That one too though. Yeah, my mom be like, the lights in the TV or past the remote. I'm like, girl, you can't do this yourself. I ain't tell my mom that. You know, no, you're not gonna. It, you're not gonna tell her it. that. You're not gonna tell her that. <laughs> All right. So our last question. By the way, you got two, uh, two out of two, right? Okay. Doing good so okay, far, so you okay. get the chance to keep your black card. Now this one, this one is actually uh, in your field, in your field of work. Who has the worst edges? A. Stevie Wonder. B. Naomi Campbell. C. Tamar Braxton. D. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron, really? Yeah, I would say because he's bald and he got a bald spot. Really? Worse than Stevie Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> Worse than Naomi Campbell? Right, okay. I'm gonna go to a lot. Okay. Between the two ladies, I would say Naomi. Naomi, yeah. Yeah, Naomi. I would definitely say Naomi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, all right, you get to keep your black card. It was cool playing. You got three <laughs> out of three, right? Um, um, so, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, about me. Um, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. I was born and raised in Jackson, Mississippi. Moved to Houston a few years ago, maybe... I would say in 2012, came here for that opportunity for the girls, for my kids. I have three daughters. Um, I just felt like when I came to Houston, it was something different about Houston. I feel like I had a better um, chance at making it, you know, changing up my atmosphere for my daughters and becoming a better person for them, you know. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so when you came to Houston, uh, well, before you, before you got to Houston, actually, were you doing hair in Mississippi? No, I wasn't doing hair. I was a CNA. Oh, okay. A certified CNA. Oh, wow. Helping individuals, so that's in my nature to help, so. Got you. Yeah. So do you still do that now in Houston, or are you just strictly hair? It's strictly hair. Oh, okay. Strictly hair. So what inspired you to get into uh, doing hair or uh, create wigs and just, or just in the business itself? What inspired me to get into the business? Um, I seen 
I seen a, I seen where it was a void. I purchased some hair from an individual. It wasn't all what I thought it was. Um, and then I started doing my research. I started researching, like just really just researching and started looking it up and just started seeing the revenue that it created in the community. Like the hair industry is a billion dollar industry. Absolutely. And it's moving further and further up the ladder into a trillion dollar industry. So that played a big part of me getting into the industry. As well as having a bad experience with hair. Right. So when you had the bad experience with hair, um, so like what like what are some of the things that you do to ensure that your customers don't have a bad experience when they're purchasing hair from you? Customer service. Customer service is always number one in business because that's who's gonna buy that's who's paying your bills. Your customers are paying your bills. If it wasn't for customers, you wouldn't have your business. So I feel like for for starters Customer service would definitely be number one. Second, the quality of your product. Make sure you're you're purchasing and you're giving the customers quality products. You don't want to just put anything out there on the market. Okay. You don't want to just right. sell anything. So I take pride in my quality and my products. Okay. So if I'm if I'm uh, wanting to purchase uh, a wig for somebody, and you know I don't buy wigs, obviously. But let's say I want to buy a wig. I go to the store. I don't have anybody to help me understand I guess what's a good quality wig so like what like what is a good quality wig you're definitely looking for the lace you're definitely looking for the smells you definitely don't want hair that has any odors you're definitely looking for um I would say like I say the, the smell because mm -hmm. you don't want your hair to have any smell you know for yourself you're coming in there maybe for your wife or someone right. and you're walking in the store hey welcome to London Couture Virgin Hair how may I assist you and you tell me hey I came in here I'm looking to purchase something for my wife but I don't really just know her taste or whatever but you definitely you want to get a wig I would say you know hey could you show me a picture of her or let me see something about her or things of that nature like I say you know nothing about it, but I'm the expert. expert. So gotcha. it's for me to explain to you, well, I've seen her, I think she would like this, and I think she would <laughs> like that. So I would definitely tell you that um this is what she likes. She would love um this curly texture we um because our curly textures are good for the summer, you know, we right. have the humidity. So I definitely offer you the cur the um deep curly texture for so her. She put me on game. I had no idea about that. See, now you got me, like, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have so to come I, check you out. Please do, please do, please do. Come check us out. Got you. So how how long uh, have you had your storefront? I've had the storefront right around roughly three years. Three years? Yeah. Yeah. And where's that, where's that uh, located? We're located at 921 Cypress Creek Parkway, mm -hmm. Houston, Texas, 77090, Suite 104G. Okay, cool. So y'all make sure y'all go check her out. She has uh, some awesome products, as you can hear her talk about those awesome products. Um, is there any information that you would give to like an up-and-coming entrepreneur? I would definitely say stay consistent. Be consistent. Don't give up. Keep going. No matter what it looked like, you're going to win in the end. Don't give up. Keep going. Be mm -hmm. consistent. And no matter how small it looks, it's going to always grow. You're going to continue to grow as long as you're being consistent. Absolutely. That's that's a very big important piece to anything is consistency. It is. You know what I mean? That's one of it the is. things that I believe is a is a major component to success is consistency because it, you know, you if you do the right thing one or two times and then the other eight times you're doing them wrong, you're not building good ha habits to to reach success. So you have to have Six, uh, consistent success successful um, habits absolutely. to reach success absolutely yeah, I so, agree so yeah definitely uh, you want to have consistent products and consistent things of that nature um, I heard you say earlier that you moved to Houston you know to have a better life for your kids and things of that nature how how is it being an entrepreneur being a business owner and still being a mother like how do you balance that I'm teaching them the business because they're going to have to do, they're going to follow my footsteps. Got you. They're going to follow my footsteps. This is their business. I'm setting the platform for a long term, building a solid foundation for them in the long run. So they're getting a chance to be hands on with me because I have them seeing the customers, dealing with the customers, 
you know, teaching them like, hey, this is how you do X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And we also give back to the community as well. I um, had um, for last year doing homecoming, I went to several schools mm. and got with some of the the counselors at the school to give back to the students, the less fortunate students. So we were able to do that as well, giving back to our community. We're doing it this go around again, but we're gonna do it for prom and we're getting everything together where we're going around to different schools. And I have um, reached out to the different, I reached out to the different MUAs, nail techs, hairstyles and things of that nature to come together so we can be able to provide these service for the less fortunate. Um, like I said, we did it last year for homecoming and we're doing it again for this prom that's getting ready to come up for the less fortunate students. And I have a lot of individuals that this um gonna sponsor the event. We have DSW on board for this go round and Macy's, they're gonna um, sponsor us as well with giving shoes and clothes and things of that nature not only for the young girls but we're doing it for the young males as well so we're gonna um do it again and That's like awesome. i say we started out it was small but it keep it's gonna continue to grow as long as we're being consistent with exactly. it. so we're giving back to our community so we're doing it this go around as well that's, that's that's really cool and it's inspiring to see a person from mississippi come to houston start their own business start their own brand and then establish that and pass it or or set it up to where it will be passed down to your daughters. Absolutely. That's a, yeah, that's an amazing Absolutely. thing. That's our mission statement. We're um, giving back to the community, not only giving back to the community, but helping to at risk teens, not only just with the females, but with the males as well. So giving back to those teens that's at risk. That's awesome. Um, so we talked about your wigs and some of the hair products that you have. Is there any other things that you do as far as lashes, makeup, or just any other uh, products? Not at the moment. We're not doing um, anything besides hair right at the moment, but we're gonna, in the future, add those products as well, like the lashes and things of that nature. We're gonna add on other products, but right now we're just solely focused on the hair. I got you. As of now. <laughs> okay. So London London Couture has been uh, taken off. Uh, is there any companies in the future that you look forward like to partnering with? Did you have I any would definitely like to partner with She's Happy Hair. Um, we accepted an award last year or the year before. I can't. I think it was the year before we accepted an award and they presented the award to us. So that showed me that we can come together. Right. So I would definitely love to partner with She's Happy Hair. I love what they're doing. I love what um, they're doing in the community. I, I, they're pretty much, ex they're expiring to me. You know, I look up to those guys. They're doing really well. Right. So I would, and that's awesome that, like you said, that y'all were able to partner, even though y'all in the same market. Absolutely. And that just shows in the black community that if we work together, there's room for us to all when you know what I mean? Absolutely. We can all be successful Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Yeah. I definitely agree. Yeah. So do do uh you guys use any brand ambassadors or like how how do you go about marketing? I do a lot of marketing on Instagram and Facebook. Snapchat, Twitter, I've utilized as well as LinkedIn. I utilize those free um apps because it helps my business um grow in so many ways and yes i do use brand ambassador but i'm solely focused in on the individual that's really serious about their their craft i mean because it is a job for all of us and we all have to win one person just can't win everyone has to win so whether the brand ambassador have 500 followers if you're consistent if you're focused i want to work with you i don't look at your followers i look at your um how you work, your work ethic. It's right. more so for me, your work ethic. So I'm definitely looking for brand ambassador. I'm always looking for brand ambassador. It's just that you got the wanting. I can't want it for you. You right. got the wanting. Absolutely. And I don't, I'm looking for individuals that see what I got going on with the hair company and look at me and say, I want to be just as big as you, but I want to work my way for I don't want you to hand me anything. So that was the, the main issue with the brand ambassadors. Mm -hmm. But me telling them, just being straightforward to them, hey, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an individual that's going to work hard as me. Right, and that's what you need in uh, any business. You know, as as you're the owner of a business, you want to make sure that your team and the people that's working with you 
are working as hard or even harder putting in that, absolutely. putting in that work. Absolutely. Because absolutely. that's the only way you'll be successful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. Well, before we go, I just want to say thanks for coming. We appreciate you having us. Uh, but at this time, I want you to tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, how can they contact you? Where you located? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Give them all that information. Plug yourself in. Everyone, we can be reached on Facebook as London Couture Virgin Hair, as well as Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Snapchat. London Couture Virgin Hair. We're also located at 921 Cypress Creek Parkway, Houston, Texas, 77090 Suite 104G. Our phone number is area code 832-986-3842. Again, our phone number is area code 832-986-3842. And again, thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. <laughs> thank you for having us. All right. And you guys, make sure you tune in to uh, Book Black TV and follow us on our Instagram at Black Book Houston. Thank you.